Happening right now, Lucas County Fair is open for business once again. Fairgoers just watch the fair parade wrap up. And this year, there's something missing. Michael Sandlin joins us live with what is taking place and the reason for the changes. Well, Jeff, I'm standing here in front of the inflatables and bounce houses for families to enjoy. They were literally just inflated behind me moments ago, so we're not really seeing a ton of kids and families out here quite yet. But it's interesting to note that this is the very first year that they're going to be replacing the mechanical rides from years past. This was a decision made by the Lucas County Fair Board. We caught up with a fair board member earlier today to ask why the change was made. Just in the past with the rides being shut down or not enough people to work it, it just, it, we, we think something like this might be right. a little better. Rides became much safer here in Ohio after Tyler's law was put into place. You may remember Tyler Jarrell, who died in 2017 after being thrown from a ride at the Ohio State Fair. The accident was later blamed on excessive corrosion in a steel support beam. The law made several improvements to the ride inspection process, and now that it's a little bit safer out here, tickets are currently running for $7 for adults, and if you're under the age of nine, it's free. Reporting in Maumee, I'm Michael Sandlin for WTOL 11.